Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we have one very, very interesting question from radical equations, which we are going to solve for the real values of x. So let's get started by considering power 3 both sides. Now cube root and cube will be cancelled out from RHS. We will write our equation x cube equal to 1 plus 2 times cube root of 2x plus 1. Now we will subtract 1 from both the sides. So plus and minus 1 will be over from RHS. We can write x cube minus 1. This will be equal to 2 times cube root of 2x plus 1. Now in RHS we are having 2x. Can we create 2x over here also? So let's multiply both sides by 8. So 8 times x cube minus 1 will be equal to 8 times 2 times cube root of 2x plus 1. Now we will multiply this 8 with x cube, 8 with minus 1. So we can write 8x cube minus 8 will be equal to 16 times cube root of 2x plus 1. Now we know that 8 is 2 cube. So we can write this term as 2x whole cube minus 8 equal to 16 times cube root of 2x plus 1. Now we can use substitution 2x equal to suppose u. So I will write let 2x equal to u. So our equation will be in variable u. We will write u cube minus 8 will be equal to 16 times cube root of u plus 1. Now we can factor 16 as 2 times 8. Then we have cube root of u plus 1. Now we can write this 2 as cube root 8. Then we have 8. Then we have cube root of u plus 1. Now we can club these two cube roots all together and we can write 8 times cube root of 8 times u plus 1. Or we can write 8 times cube root of 8u plus 8. And in LHS, it is u cube minus 8. Now we can consider another substitution. Let us say this radicant only equal to v cube. So I can write our first equation u cube minus 8 will be equal to 8 times cube root of v cube will be v only. So we will consider this is our first equation. First equation. And from this substitution, we can write our second equation. So we will write 8u plus 8 equal to v cube or v cube minus 8 equal to 8u. This is from our substitution equation. Now we have to solve this new system of equations. Let me write both the equations here. u cube minus 8 equal to 8v and second equation was v cube minus 8 equal to 8u. Now I will subtract second equation from first one. So I will write here operation 1 minus 2. We will get minus 8, minus 8 will be over. We will get u cube minus v cube in the LHS. 8 times v minus u in the RHS. Or I can write u cube minus v cube equal to Minus is common from the bracket. We will write u minus v. 
with minus sign. Now we will take all the terms to LHS. U cube minus V cube plus 8 times U minus V equal to 0. Let's apply A cube minus B cube formula here. We will write U minus V in one bracket. U square plus V square plus UV in other bracket plus 8 times u minus v equal to 0. Now u minus v, u minus v, we can take overall common. So u minus v is overall common. In other bracket, we will write u square plus v square plus uv plus 8 equal to 0. Now we will apply product 0 rule. So either u minus v equal to 0 or u square plus v square plus uv plus 8 equal to 0. This is our second equation. We have to solve both the equations one by one. So I can write here first equation u minus v equal to 0. So from here u will be equal to v. Now we have to solve our second equation. We will write u square plus v square plus uv. Let me take 8 to the RHS. We can write minus 8. Now we will multiply both sides by 4. Let's multiply times 4. So we will write 4u square plus 4v square plus 4uv equal to negative 32. Now I will split 4u square as u square plus 3u square. So first we will write 4v square plus 4uv. Then the remaining 3u square. RHS is negative 32. Now from first three terms, we can write this as u plus 2v whole square. Then we have plus sign. Then we have 3 u square. And RHS is coming out minus 32. Now one strong statement we can write from here. Sum of two squares. Sum of two squares. It is equal to negative number sum of squares cannot be negative. For real numbers, sum of squares must be positive. So we will write, we are going to get complex solutions. So we can reject this, this equation. We are going to accept u equal to v only. So I will write here u equal to v. Now I will write our equation u cube minus 8. This was equal to 8 times v. Now here I will write v equal to u. So I can write u cube minus 8 equal to 8 times u. Or I can write u cube minus 8u minus 8 equal to 0. Now I can use rational root theorem synthetic division method. If I will find eligible factors of constant 8, I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. Leading coefficient is 1, we will write only plus minus 1. Now if I will plug in u equal to 1, will it satisfy 1 minus 8 minus 8? No, it won't. If I will plug in u equal to minus 1, so we will write here minus 1 plus 8 minus 8 again it is not satisfying. If I will plug in u equal to 2 will it satisfy? Let us check 8 minus 16 minus 8 no it is not. Let me put u equal to minus 2. So we will write minus 8 plus 16 minus 8 yes this time it is satisfying our equation. We will say u equal to minus 2 is our base solution for this q 
cubic equation we can use synthetic division method let us write all the coefficients of cubic equation coefficient of u cube we will write 1 coefficient of u square which is not there so we will write coefficient is 0 coefficient of u we will write minus 8 constant is minus 8 put one line over there leading coefficient is 1 here now we have to multiply minus 2 with leading coefficient 1 minus 2 times 1 we will write minus 2 we will add these two we will get minus 2 minus 2 times minus 2 becomes plus 4 we will add these two we will get minus 4 minus 2 times minus 4 plus 8 addition of these two will give us 0 here we have coefficients for quadratic equation we will write u square minus 2u minus 4 equal to 0 remember our base solution is u equal to minus 2 so let us solve this quadratic first u square minus 2u minus 4 equal to 0 u square minus 2u minus 4 equal to 0 i will take this minus 4 to the rhs i will write u square minus 2u in lhs 4 in the rhs now add 1 to both sides now we will write our lhs as u minus 1 whole square rhs will be 5 we will consider square root both sides u minus 1 will be equal to plus minus square root 5 now add 1 to both sides we will get 1 plus minus square root 5 let me write all the three solutions so u equal to minus 2 and 1 plus minus root 5 now u was our substitution if you remember 2x was u so in place of u i can write 2x equal to minus 2 1 plus minus square root 5 now we will divide both sides by 2 we will get our final answer x equal to negative 1 and 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye